At the beginning of the film, we see a man from America who was a beekeeper. His name was Adam, who was collecting honeybees. While his neighbor, an old woman was busy with her work. Adam comes and says I have taken out beehives from your fields from which I will take out honey and yes, now that a lot of bees are going to come here, I have put machines in the fields. The old woman replies, thank you for your help, son. Adam says, okay, and at night I will come to give you honey and your charity work is good. It is a very good thing that you give money and help people. You are a kind-hearted woman. The old woman says, thank you so much, son. After this, Adam comes to his garage and starts working. He starts taking out honey from the hives. The old woman was also busy with her work on the laptop. Meanwhile, she gets a computer virus notification to fix it. She contacts the company's given number. She says a virus has entered my laptop. I am quite old, so I have no idea about these things. On this, the worker says the virus is dangerous. This can lose all your data, but we will help you. You just have to download an app. Now as the old woman downloads the app, the worker controls her entire system. Now he and the rest of the workers see that the old woman has $200,000 in her account. So now the worker sends $50,000 to the old woman's account. Then he said, Madam, by mistake our money has come into your account please return it because we need it very much. When the old woman saw it, she really had $50,000 as she puts the password to send the money back, suddenly her entire system is hacked because of that app. Her laptop is also completely shut down. While the worker and his other team start celebrating because they stole $200,000 from the old woman. When the old woman's laptop was turned on, she becomes sad to see that it was a fraud and all the money has disappeared from the account. Then she gets a message from the bank on her phone that your account has been scammed. Now at night, Adam came to the old woman's house to give her honey. He felt something was wrong, so he went ahead, where the old woman's daughter Emma caught him, who was a police officer meanwhile, they find out that the old woman has died which makes Emma sad but she suspected Adam that he had killed my mom. When she came out, her partner tells her that Adam is a good person. He must not have killed your mom, she must has ended herself. Emma says my mom always lived for others, she can't end herself. Adam has killed her because he had a knife in his hand. Then she comes to Adam and asks why did you come to my mom's house? He says that I came to share because I am a beekeeper. Now when Emma comes to the fields, she sees the machines of the bees lying there. When she checks in the laptop, she finds out about the missing money. So she understands that Adam was right that he is innocent. The next day, she goes to Adam and apologizes to him that I doubted you. He says no problem. Emma brings him to her house and asks did mom tell you that money has been scammed with her? That money was from charity, which my mother had collected by adding money. My team has found out that a company called OMA has scammed them. There are many more such companies that scam people, they loot their money. These are all online fraud companies. Adam says, no, they didn't tell me anything like that but yes, your mom was a very good woman. Because of her, goodness was still left in the world. Then he calls a secret service and tells everything about the scam with the old woman and tries to find out about that company. Then the service officers give him the address of that company Oma. The next day, Adam reached the company building. The guards stop him, do not let him go inside. Then he kills both of them and comes up to the place where the whole team was sitting and even now they were scamming people. Adam keeps the petrol there and tells everyone to listen to me but no one pays attention to him. On it, he catches a man and beats him a lot and started telling everyone say in the future you will never come to this place, nor will you scam people. Because everyone was very scared, they started saying this. Then Adam starts spilling petrol everywhere and now the worker who had called the old woman comes with the goons. Then Adam starts beating them without thinking. Then he puts a bomb everywhere and says to the worker be ashamed you scam with innocent people but after today, nothing like this will happen here. Saying this, he left from here. After this, the worker also leaves as they left, all the bombs planted in the building started exploding. The whole building blows up with explosions that means this company was destroyed. Now the worker tells all this to his head Matt who was the agent of this company. Hearing all this, Matt says how did he blow up our whole building with explosions? Why did he do this? Then the worker says that man was very dangerous, I think we scammed him he must have come to take revenge. Matt says, but we only scam old people, he was young. Anyway, tell me, he was alone while we had such a big team what happened to all of them? Then the worker says he ended everyone blown up in an explosion. Now Matt goes and tells all this to the head of his guards who was a very brave man. Matt says, I need some goons, he says okay, you will get it. 
After it, Matt calls that worker and says find that man, I am sending my goons. The worker found out that because of the scam, Adam did this to us. That's why he came to the old woman's house where they also see Adam working in the fields. First, they shoot the machines and destroy them then they enter Adam's factory. As they move forward, Adam comes here and attacks them all. He grabs them one by one and starts hitting badly. Seeing this, the worker gets scared but Adam grabs him and cuts his fingers. After a while, Emma came here with her team. She sees that Adam's entire factory has also been destroyed in the explosion. While Adam left with the worker, Adam brought the worker to a bridge by putting him in the car where he calls his head, Matt. What happened to him, he tells everything about it. Adam now ties the worker to the car with a rope. After this, he throws it in the sea along with the car. Now Adam himself started talking to Matt. He says, whoever you are, I will find you and finish you. Matt says, you don't know who I am. Adam replies, but very soon I will know and saying this, he hangs up the phone and leaves from here. There, the head of the guards tells Matt, that you are saying that he killed all of us without weapons. Matt says, yes then the head of the guard says I have worked in the FBI for years and I had only heard about such a person in movies. And if this is the case, then that man will be very dangerous. Matt says, yes, maybe he will be but you have to protect me somehow. As you feel right, increase security everywhere according to you. The head of the guard says, okay, I will do this but I have to tell your mom about all this and yes, now you should reduce your wrongdoings. Matt says, that is my job, I will see according to me, you do your job. The head of the guard said yes. After this, he comes separately and calls Matt's mom. On it, she says, I have kept you to protect my son. You take care of his little wrongdoings yourself. On this, he says yes and then head of the guards calls the head of his gang. He started saying that I have to kill a man for this, you send our best hunter or killer. Emma finds the dead body of the worker in the sea near the car. She saw that the fingers of the worker have also been cut. The job of killing Adam is given to a very good killer. Adam when the petrol was flowing in the car, the same killer came sitting in the car. She hits her car into Adam's car. After doing this, she shoots, but Adam gets missing. That killer takes out the machine gun from his car and starts shooting all around. When Adam comes out, he beats him with a box of honey, from which he starts bleeding. Now because honey had fallen on the whole body, Adam sets it on fire she burns completely and dies. Then he also cuts her fingers and leaves from here. Now like the last two, he also sets the petrol pump on fire and destroys it. After a while, the head of the goons informs the head of the guards about this. She started telling that she has killed our best killer. Hearing this, the head of the guards is surprised and says that what are you saying? How can this happen? Then she says I don't know and now you deal with it yourself. The head of the guards tells Matt about it then he replied why you couldn't do this. The head of the guards says you don't worry, I will handle all this. Emma also comes to the petrol pump with her companion to check where everything was destroyed. Emma tells her companion that no one can go around with a machine gun like this. There is definitely a big hand behind this so we will have to talk to our senior about this. The head of the guards hires a lot of goons so that he can remove Adam from the way. The head tells everyone that this time we have met a beekeeper in which you all have to fight him and finish him. He also gives everyone the picture of Adam and other information about him. Adam now came to a factory. With the help of the fingers he cut, he starts trying to open the lock. This is the reason why he cuts people's fingers and collects their fingers. He comes inside and finds out about the companies associated with Oma Company and their head company. Then he takes out more important information and leaves. There, Emma and her companion come to their senior FBI officer. Emma tells him that a man in our area has destroyed a whole company and its workers. He has also killed many more people. He has now gone after other companies associated with Oma Company. He will do the same to them, we need some soldiers to stop him for which he agrees. The senior of the second company of Oma Company, who was Matt's companion, was teaching people to scam his team was immersed in work. Then the third company's officer comes here and says we have to vacate this place because it can be dangerous. Now when Matt's companion refused to do this, the officer took him with him. He makes him talk to Matt. Then Matt tells his companion that yes, vacate that place quickly, this is my order. There, when all the officers were talking about ending Adam, then Adam comes here and says you have written in my information that my weight is 83 kilograms whereas my real weight is 78 kilogram. Hearing this, all the officers were shocked because they knew that this is the one we are looking for. They attack him to catch him but he wasn't controlled by anyone. 
He picks up everyone and starts beating them, he almost made everyone unconscious. He let one officer stay. Then he goes upstairs where Matt's companion was preparing to run away with his workers. Meanwhile, Adam comes here and says you have two minutes if you don't get out of here, you will be killed but Matt's companion says no one will go if anyone goes, his job will also be lost. The officers who were beaten by Adam were conscious and now they come to catch Adam. They fire blindly but Adam catches a man and moves him forward. When the bullets hit him, he gets a chance and leaves, a few officers follow him but Adam kills everyone one by one and makes them unconscious. The remaining officers start looking for Adam in the lift, they also fired bullets but Adam throws a lift on them and kills everyone. Then he comes to Matt's companion and also starts hitting him badly. He says you have made all that money tell me for whom you work but he doesn't say anything. Adam beats him a lot. Then he shows him the picture of the old woman and says you also scammed this old woman she took her life and now if you don't tell me for whom you work, you will be killed first. Then he says I can show you his picture. Saying this, he shows Matt's picture to Adam on the computer and says he is very dangerous. Adam says often to extract honey, we also face the queen of bees although she is also very dangerous, but I don't leave her either. Meanwhile, Emma and her companion come here. Seeing them, Adam goes to the side and hides. He tells Emma without coming in front of her that he is responsible for her mother's death. Saying this, he started running away from here. Emma's companion officer catches him. Now Adam also caught him but he ran away from there without hitting him. After a while, Emma and her companion start searching the whole place. On the other hand, Matt and the guard's head were at a party where the guard's head got a call. Then after the call, he came out with Matt says now we have to tell everything to your mother because the officers have taken over your company. Matt calls his mother and tells her that there is a little problem in my company in which I need your help. His mother says, okay, give me all the information, I will handle everything. Now it was found here that Matt's mother is actually the president of America. Emma found out that Adam is doing all this so she tells her companion that now Adam will go to end Matt because he is running all these companies. There is a big company behind all the scam companies named Danforth. She also gives all this information to the FBI officer. They tell that this company belongs to Matt and his mother. Matt's mother supports her son in wrongdoings but she doesn't know how her son loots innocent people. Actually, Danforth's software is very strong by which he loots all the money of old people and this information is still known to the three of us. Then the FBI officer says okay and this information should not go out of here now because in the future I will handle everything. Emma says now Adam will go to kill Matt and his mother. Obviously, we have to take care of this thing. On this, the FBI officer says you can pick up as many soldiers as you want to stop him. You know what to do next. The next day, Emma and her companion start handling the security of the White House where in the White House, the head of the guards has called another dangerous killer. He says to the head of the guards nothing can happen to you while I am there. After a while, Matt's mother also came and met the head of the guards and after checking the cars well, they were sent inside but when it was the turn of the truck, Adam opens the gutter and hangs under the truck. Now when the truck was checked from below, the officer was killed by Adam and hangs him aside. Now he goes ahead wearing the clothes of that guard, he joins the rest of the guards. He then puts a bomb in a car, removes the clothes of the guards and wears his suit again. After this, he enters the White House where the party was going on and he also sees the head of the guards here but then Emma's eyes also fall on him. So all the officers come after him. The killer also prepares to catch him and now all of them catch Adam. There was also a killer here who tries to kill him. Matt's mother takes him inside and asks tell me what you did and who is this man. The head of the guards was telling me that you had also run away his security. Tell me what are you doing all this? What is going on here? Meanwhile, the FBI officer also comes here. He tells them that all the companies under your company Danforth, they are scamming people and looting money. Hearing this, Matt's mother gets shocked. She asks her son, tell me Matt, is this true? Is it the money you are looting that you give me every time in my fund? On this, Matt says, yes, this is true. All these scams, frauds, are done by those companies under our company Danforth which I make them do. Adam explodes the bomb in the car. He kills the remaining people and goes inside the White House. Matt says, Mom, what else? Now that you ask for so much money every time, where do I get it from? From here, by scamming and all this I have done for you. Hearing this, his mother says you did this wrong I was made the Poseidon to make the country better not because you do this wrong, loot people and now we will return the money stolen by the companies to the people and we will apologize to them online, you will do this work. After this, I am ready to suffer what will happen to me.
On this, Matt says, no mom, I will never do this. Adam keeps moving forward while killing the officers. He was laying dead bodies. Now the killer comes here and catches Adam, he beats him a lot but Adam was also not less than anyone. He did not let so many people stand in front of him so what was he? He turns around, attacks the killer and beats him a lot. He beats him so badly that he kills him. Then he goes ahead and opens the office. Then the head of the guards comes and says you should not do this your life can be lost. Adam says I love death and you should do it too. Saying this, he breaks his hand. Matt, who was very scared, shoots the FBI officer. Meanwhile, Adam also goes inside by blowing up where Matt catches his mother to save his life and points a gun at her. Emma and her companion also came here. Adam shoots Matt's head. Doing this, he left. Emma had seen him and points a gun at him. Adam also sees her but Emma does not say anything to him and he runs away from here. Adam comes to the sea and wears his swimming suit. Meanwhile, the officers also come here while chasing him. Now, without wasting a minute, Adam jumps into the water and runs away from here. Here this story ends.